Good morning, grade twos, and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud. I hope you've had a lovely morning or a lovely day so far, and that you're ready to learn with me today. We are going to do grade two maths together, and if you have any questions throughout the lesson or after the lesson, then just ask mommy or daddy to send an email to grade two at worksheetcloud.com, and we will try and answer your question as quickly as possible. If this is the first time that you're watching a lesson with us, my name is Teacher Taryn and we are going to do Grade 2 Maths and today we are going to do the number of the day. Now that is just a little bit of revision of everything that we've already done, but we're going to do it with one number, all of those activities with one special number for the day. Now before we can start, we've got to wake our brains up a little bit and we're going to count together. Now we're going to count in threes. Now threes is a little bit difficult. We haven't done this too much because our pattern only repeats itself much later. When we're counting twos, we count all the twos, all the fours and all the sixes and we can see our pattern very quickly. When we count in fives or in tens, the same thing happens. But when we count in threes or fours, it takes quite a while for the pattern to repeat itself. So we have three. We add another 3 is 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. And as soon as we get to 30, the pattern is going to repeat. So then it will be 33, 36, 39. But let's count in threes just up until 30 for now. And let's practice it one more time. 3. 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Well done, grade twos. You definitely put your thinking caps on this morning before you started watching. Now let's count in fives. We start at five and then 10. And then our pattern repeats itself immediately. 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45, 50. Well done, Gretis, you are so clever. Now, before we can do our number of the day, we're going to learn one new thing. We're going to revise a few things, and then we're going to hear what our special number for today is. Now, we are going to learn rounding off to the nearest 10. Now, remember when we counted, we had our 10s, these are all our 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Those are all our 10s. And our 10s are like a stop street. As soon as we get to 10, we know that our next set of numbers are going to start. 11, 12, 13, then we get to 20. And that gives us a clue that our next set of numbers are going to start. So we always try and jump to the stop street first before we can do something else. So if we round off to the nearest 10, then it's either a 10, a 20, a 30, all the way down to 100. But I need to tell you about my car at the bottom. It's a red car and it's quite an old car. Now old cars, they struggle to climb up a hill. And you can see my hill starts at 0 and it ends at 10 and all the way up to 5 we're going uphill you'll have to drive up 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 until I get to the 5 right at the top and as soon as I get to 5 that's the highest part of my hill I go down 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 all the way down to 10 now this car he struggles to climb this hill and he drives very slowly past one, two, and then three, and then four. And then as he needs to get to the highest part of the hill and climb over that hill, he realizes, I don't have enough energy or enough power to get past there. And when he gets to the four dot, oh, he rolls all the way back down the hill because he doesn't have enough power to go over. But if he's on the five, right at the top of the hill, the highest point of that hill, 
He doesn't need any power to go down the hill. He can just roll down the hill. And he rolls all the way down to 10. So the th same thing with a number. When our number ends on a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, or a 5, we need to go back down the hill. But when the number ends on a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, a 9, or a 10, we can roll down to the 10. So, if our number on a 100 block ends on a 1, or on a 2, or on a 3, or on a 4, then we turn around and we go back to the last 10. But if the number ends on a 5, or on a 6, or a 7, an 8, a 9, or a 10, then we continue all the way to the next 10. So let's look at this number, 40. Three. Now 43 ends on a 3, so that means we're going to go back to the last 10 and we're going to roll down the hill to the 40. So if we round off the number 43 to the nearest 10, the 3 tells me I need to go back to the 40. But now my number ends on a 7. 37. And now I'm on the downhill side of my hill, so my car is just going to roll all the way down. So now if I end on a 7, I ro round up to 40. So let's do something we've already done before. We've already learned how to rename, and this actually has other headings or instruction names. It can also be decomposed or it can be expanded notation. So rename, we learned that 42 is a 40 plus a 2. A 38 is a 30 plus an 8. And 19 is a 10 plus a 9. This is four groups of 10 and two units. And three groups of 10, or 30, and 8 units, and one group of 10, and 9 units. Now, if we double, we need to know how to rename, because that is our first step. So, 23, 20, and I have two groups of 10, 20, plus 3, and I have three loose units over there. Now, if I double, I just add the same amount next door because 20 doubled is 40. And underneath, I'm going to draw an arrow, and that is going to be 40. Double 2 is 4. So double 20 will be 40. And if I double 3, I add another 3 next door, and I draw an arrow underneath, and that will be 6. But here, I've taken my number apart like a cake. All my layers of my cake are there. But in the end, I need to put all those layers back together. And I'm going to say 40 plus 6 is 46. And that is my final answer. Double 23 is 46. Now we're going to halve. And halve is actually exactly the same method. But instead of doubling the number, you're going to halve it. So 28, we know that we need to rename 28 first. So 20 plus 8. We have two groups of 10, which is 20. And we have eight loose units over here. So now we're not going to double anymore. We're going to halve. So we have 20 and half of 20 is 10. I just take half of them away. And here I have 8. And half of 8 is 4. I just take half of them away. I draw an arrow underneath and I have 4. Because I took my cake apart, all my different layers, I need to put that back together again. So 10 plus 4 is 14. So now we've done rename, we've done double, we've done half. 
we've done rounding up or rounding down. And now we're going to learn about our special number for today. So our number of the day is going to be 24. And any instruction that we're going to do from now on is going to be about the number 24. So we're going to write the number name for 24. And that is 20 and a hyphen and 4. 24. Now we're going to look for 24 on our 100 chart. So 24 is definitely not going to be over here. It's past the 10s. It's past the 20s. And there, 24. And now we're going to look for the number that is before 24 and after 24. So let's look at our 100 chart. The number before 24 is 23. The number after 24 is 25. Four more, 10 more, and two less. Now four more, we can just add four on. Or if we add four to our unit, we know it will be an eight. So if we count on, we'll get to 28. 10 more or 10 less is easy because if we look at our 100 chart, there's a little trick. If we add 10, it will be 34. If we take 10 away, it's going to be 14. So either we're just going to hop one down or one up. 10 more is 34. And 2 less. Less means we've got to go backwards and we're going to get to 22. Now we're going to round 24 off to the near, nearest 10. So remember my car, if it gets to the top of my hill, I'm on a 4. And I haven't reached the 5 yet, which is the highest part. And the car just rolls all the way back down. So the 4 in 24 tells me I need to round down to 20. So rounding off 24 to the nearest 10 is 20. Now we're going to rename or decompose 24. So 24 is equal to a 20 plus a 4. Two groups of 10 and 4 units. Now we're going to look at how many 10s and how many units. We looked at that when we did our renaming. So 24 is two groups of 10, and that's how we will pack them out with blocks or with unifix, and four units, four loose blocks. And if we double 24, here's 24, and remember we first need to rename. We've already renamed it, and that is our first step. And now we're going to draw our arrow underneath, and double 20 is 40. And double four is eight. We took our cake apart, so now we need to put it back together. So 40 and eight is 48. Now let's halve 24. Remember, we're doing everything for the number 24. We halve 24. Our first step is to rename it, which we've already done. Halve 20, that will give me 10. If I halve 4, that gives me 2. I put them back together, I add them, so 10 plus 2 is 12. Now, grade 2s, you've been very clever because you have now done everything that we've already learned together and you've revised it by using the same number, our number of the day. Now, you can actually do this any day. You just pick a different number and practice all these different things with that number. But in grade two, you've got to be careful because the number you pick has to be an even number so that you will know how to halve that number. I hope you've enjoyed watching our lesson today, grade twos, and that you've learned a little bit and you've revised something and your activity today is actually very fun because you're going to use a special number and number of the day. And you're going to revise some maths that you've done already. You can do this tomorrow, 
You can do it the next day. You just ch change your number of the day. And I hope you've enjoyed this lesson with me. And this lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. Until the next time I see you, grade twos, goodbye.